let's look at this HHSRS report created with Pocket Survey. The front page is branded with your logo and your address. Then you've got your front photo of the building, plus an optional trade logo. Then you get an automatic table of contents, which is all hyperlinked. So you can jump to the different sections quickly. The report contains quite a lot of detailed information, all created as the click of a button. Then you've got an introduction page. Now all these phrases can be edited in the app, but we'll come to that later in the app setup. The overview section of the report shows inspection details, optional client details, building details. And if you're using the Remedial Works add-on feature, you can see the total cost of the Remedial Work for the hazards in this building. And you've got a breakdown of the status of all the hazards. If you've enabled the building an additional information feature, you can capture a lot of general information about the building. All of this is configurable in the app setup. Then there's an HHSRS executive summary showing the category 1 hazards. Then for each hazard, detailed information covers. Description, location, vulnerable group, ideal conditions. Hazard status, defects, action recommendations, and any notes you've added. You can have up to four photos for each hazard. If you've chosen the works add-on feature, remedial work details will be listed below the photo. A quick note here, you can also choose a scoring feature if you prefer to use likelihood and outcome to assess your hazards. This is useful if you're a government council or enforcement officer. Each hazard is shown in a similar format. Notice, rather than displaying the old-fashioned yes, no answers. We list out defects and actions chosen from the extensive knowledge base. This is much more useful and easier to understand. Your clients will love the format. Incidentally, we also offer a report add-on that will automatically produce your enforcement notices, such as an improvement notice or a prohibition order. You've got your disclaimer and limitations section. Remember that you can set up all these phrases in your report within the app to customise it to your needs. The quality assurance statement will show the inspector's signature, and if you've chosen to use quality checkers, their details as well. At the end, you have your four plans and any additional building images you've included in the report. If you want to save your PDF report, tap the download button to save it to your storage area. When we looked at the report earlier, I mentioned that you could also use the government scoring feature. This isn't something everybody chooses to do, but sometimes it's useful if you're an enforcement officer or council. You can also control the report designed to customise the PDF report to your needs. Now, remember to get your low-cost trial if you're not already a Pocket Survey user where you will get your first month's subscription at a vastly reduced price. Remember, there's no obligation to carry on your subscription after the trial month, and you've got access to the full software, including free training and support. If you don't like the software after that, that's no problem. Just let us know, and we won't bill you, and you can continue your search for a digital solution for your HHSRS inspections. Thank you very much for watching. If you want to learn more about any of our Pocket Survey apps, Please visit our website pocketsurvey.com where you'll see lots of information about all our building and inspection software. So that's the Pocket Survey HHSRS inspection report in a nutshell. I hope you enjoyed this demonstration. Bye for now and see you soon.